Okay, so whenever I do this, it feels like I'm talking to myself. So, this is going to be a pretty awkward movie. I can tell you right from the start. Um... I like doing random stuff. And, um... I say I'm a lot in my videos because I don't know what to talk about and I'm trying to like feel the space in before I um, start thinking again and um, just yeah I need to stop saying um because that's probably getting annoying to you I am getting absolutely nothing right now from anyone so I have no ideas when I come up with ideas I am um, usually implement them but pretty much this show started as a why not so yeah and it's not really even a show it's more just videos that I recorded and put up because I felt I needed to share them. I don't know why. I guess I'm kind of trying to reach out to everyone, which is not really even a point half the time because most of you don't care. Um, I like doing random stuff, and usually the random stuff are funny, but sometimes they're not, I guess. Most of you probably haven't gotten a laugh out of stuff I've put up so far, and you're probably just sitting there going, what is this kid doing? <laughs> um, yeah. That's really the point. That's the reason why these things show up on my channel is because I have nothing better to do. Oregon sucks. Oregon is the worst place to be living. It's not got anything whatsoever. It's raining all the fucking time. Literally. It's like rain that's all it is unless it's summer and then it's hot as all hell and you're just like oh please let the rain come back cuz I honestly would rather be taking a shower in the water right now walking about than um, dealing with this because about um, it gets to be about I wanna say 103 degrees sometimes more during the summer over here and it's sunny all the time for a couple months and there's not really a whole lot to do during that time because Oregon doesn't have a lot to do anyway now yeah. during the winter you can go kayaking in the pond over here because well it's not even a pond it's actually the city park it's just when it rains enough it floods because I guess that used to be an old sawmill before they like did something to block it off to drain out all the water there. I guess that used to be a river there actually. So yeah, you get some pretty weird stuff sometimes happening. <laughs> like the neighbors next door. I don't know what they do. They do a lot of weird stuff. Like, they, one day I covered a drunk kid up in paint, and, um, he, um, stumbled out of the house completely covered in paint, like, the paint you would use to, uh, paint your, uh, house with, like, outside paint, yeah, I guess that's what you call it, outdoor paint, whatever, um, yeah, but he was covered in it, stumbling around drunk, and I don't know why... He decided he was going to sit on the sidewalk and take the paint that's on his clothes off of him and just start painting on the sidewalk. Which was fun to watch for a while because I had nothing better to do. I was doing the dishes. The dishes in my house usually are kind of gross. Um, yeah. So I just sat there and watched and then I realized this is the most exciting thing that has happened during my day. Literally. So, I just 
let it go because that's usually about the time where I start doing random stuff myself. And I was like, well, I'm going to be lazy today and just sit with my PS3, like was my original idea. And after I finish these dishes, of course. And so yeah, I finished the dishes. Went and sat and curled up with a pillow on the, the floor and got a reaction from my brother like, why are you laying on the floor in your room? You have a perfectly nice bed right there. And I was like, well, I want to lay on the floor. Because, <laughs> I don't know. It was something to do. <laughs> He's like, you seriously took all the covers off your bed and laid them on the floor to make another bed. I was like, And you made it comfortable, too. I was like, yeah. So, yeah, pretty much the point was, why do you have this much time on your hands? Um, I have a lot of time on my hands. Which means I talk a lot to people. So, I'm always on um, my Instagram and my Twitter and my Facebook. And the fact that I have an iPhone doesn't help, because I have internet on this thing. So, it's constantly, oh, you have a notification. Oh, I better check that. I'm always checking that. It's horrible, because I'm always, means I'm always posting random statuses every like five minutes two minutes something like that because I have nothing better to do besides come up with something and put it on my Instagram in the hopes that um maybe you'll see it and might get a little bit of a laugh might decide hey let's talk to this kid because she doesn't seem like she has a life because <laughs> she probably doesn't I don't have a life. Not that I'm aware of. But yeah, I am an Oregonian. It sounds weird. It sounds like I am an alien or another race. Which Oregonians kind of are, in a way, I guess, compared to other people. I've met some other people from other states. I was in Kansas for about a year, and I didn't really fit in there at all. I mean, everybody was nice there, and that was different, because I was constantly sitting there going, Why are you being nice to me? This, this is not normal. People in Oregon are assholes, in case you know. They're either one. Really, really just, they know you, and they're just going to be a jerk to you, because you're never going to live down anything that you've done in your entire life, because they're just that way. They're just going to make it to where you have a horrible day. And, or they're stuck up and they don't want to talk to you. They won't. You, you can walk right up to somebody and be like, Hi, how are you? My name's Dibber 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 Dibber, and more talking and they'll just sit there and stare at you and then they'll walk off literally they'll stare at you and give you a weird look like what are you talking to me for go away and um <laughs> yeah Oregon Oregon I do have a couple friends I don't really they don't spend as much time with me as we used to because they have jobs and I'm just sitting here like, hmm, chips. Because I don't have a life right now. The job employment rate is way down and as a result, I'm screwed. Simply as that because my main profession is housekeeping. Uh, that's all I got. I have to sit here and wait, pretty much, until somebody goes, Your references are pretty good. Yeah, yeah they are. That's not the reason why I'm not being hired. But, yeah, pretty much, it's just, uh, 
I have to wait, I guess, because there's nothing better to do with my life. Anyway, I post videos, and I really, really hope that you get a uh, good laugh out of them. Because that's really the point. Um, yeah, I don't really have a lot more to talk about. Unless I'm having a bad day, which usually means that I'm just sitting there and walking on my business. And you can say something completely randomly stupid to me, and I will actually retort. I don't usually um, reply to people who are being jerks. I just ignore them because that's the best way to go about it because then they just look stupid. Um, yeah. But pretty much if I'm having a bad day and you tell me that since I'm pagan that I'm gonna go to hell and derby derby derby. If I look like I'm angry, don't say something like that to me. Just don't. It is in your best interest. Because I will reply with something that will make you cry. Horribly. And just wish that you didn't exist. I try not to. I, I really feel bad about it after. Like, after I've calmed down, I feel really, really bad about it. Which is the reason why I'm nice. Because I don't think that you have to be mean to people. I don't see the point in it. I really don't. I, I'm, I'm not a mean person. I'm not that person. I'm just not that person. Um. Yeah. I do have my moments, though. And the best thing to do if I'm having one of those moments is to just bug me at a later date. Like, when I look like I'm happier, bother me then. Anyway, that's all I have.